Hello, my name is Dr. Virginia Von Schaefer, and I'd like to talk to you briefly about Epstein-Barr virus chronic infection. This is a very important topic to many, many people in this country and abroad because chronic infection can lead to many other health problems that are of varying grades of severity and can interfere, interfere with your life and health. The first problem in understanding Epstein-Barr virus is how to test for it. Now, the current testing that is available is a blood test that will identify the titer or amount of antibodies secreted in your bloodstream that represents your immune system response to the presence of Epstein-Barr virus. I usually order a viral panel on my patients and this will include not only Epstein-Barr but herpes 1, herpes 6, um, hepatitis B, hepatitis A, of course HIV, uh, and cytomegalovirus. All of these are travelers together and usually if Epstein-Barr is present, uh, others will be there too. The problem with this type of testing is that it is not assessing exactly what you have or at what point your infection is in the body. Namely, were you infected previously? Do you have a chronic infection? Are you having an emerging acute infection? And some of the testing, uh, test results will um, be overlapping in terms of what the implication is or basically the diagnosis. Now, there is something called a Epstein-Barr early antigen, which if positive is very likely to indicate that you have a more acute infection. However, even in that case, some patients will have a prolonged elevation of early antigen over a long period of time. I have one patient as early as antigen is positive now for a year, even though he's eradicated the virus. So what is a person to do? Usually I ask patients to have the, the regular traditional testing and if uh, on evaluation it appears that there's a high enough titer of antibodies and the patient has other conditions of concern, then we would move towards preparing a therapy for this, which involves um, a SOT treatment or <clears throat> supportive oligonucleotide therapy. I've made other videos about that. I'm not going to go into great detail here today, uh, but it is an excellent treatment that uh, involves uh, infusion of a titer of uh, antisense molecules that will bind to the microRNA of the unwanted entity, in this case Epstein-Barr virus, and once the microRNA is double-stranded and bound, it can no longer uh, work to promote replication. And this is basically the method of eradicating the virus. Now there are adjunctive treatments that can be applied, such as ultraviolet blood irradiation, because ultraviolet light in several different bands will kill viruses. And so this is another way to help clean the blood of the virus. Uh, eradication is possible, and there is, once patients have had a treatment, then we can have a different type of test that's not conventional, um, that's conducted by a research lab in London called the Biocentor Lab, and <clears throat> it's called the Prime Spot Test. This test is very unique in that it will assess what you have in terms of viral amounts by PCR, so it's actual DNA, whether you have it still in your serum or if you have it inside the cell. And it will quantify it so it's possible for us to assess having had treatment, where are we? What did we do? Do we eradicate it or do we need to do more treatment? Uh, so this is very, very helpful. Patients need something tangible to see, did they get rid of it or didn't they? And this test will help us do that. Why is this so important? Epstein-Barr virus infected macrophages can lead to many autoimmune disorders, chronic illnesses, and cancer. So even if you don't have any of those problems, 
identifying and treating and eradicating the virus is a major preventive health maneuver that you can do to prevent cancer. Incidence of cancer is upwards of 70% in the population. Anything you can do to help yourself prevent from being in that category is a win-win. So I emphasize the problem with chronic Epstein-Barr virus is infected macrophages and once the virus infects your macrophage, what does that mean? It means it's going to take over the DNA and the RNA replicative processes in your own cells. And it's going, by doing so, it's going to change the epigenetics and change the characteristics of your macrophages. And once those macrophages are transformed, they no longer function as they're supposed to. And this malfunction is implicated in many, as I say, chronic illnesses and cancer. So once again, think about Epstein-Barr if you have an unsolved problem. It may be where the root is. Thank you.